Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2019 StarCraft Launch 27BHU. This is a great family model. You have the big super slide here with the large U-shaped dinette and sofa. In the back corner you have your double over double rear bunks and then you have the uh, bathroom on the campsite with an extra door. Let's start off right over here in the kitchen. You'll see that you have decent amount of prep space right over here to the side. Nothing, uh, you know, it's not a huge space, but at least they give you a little bit of something. And you know, if you got a sink top cover here, that would help provide a little extra space as well as the cooktop cover too. Uh, but even without, you know, again, it's still a workable kitchen. You see the high rise faucet right here, the double bowl sink, three burner cooktop is over to the side with the oven right there underneath. Your fuse panel is also right down here. If ever that you need to uh, get to it, you need to access it, that will have both your fuses as well as your breaker panel in there. Underneath the sink, a little bit of storage there, you know, for some of your smaller uh, camping size pots and pans. And then you have two drawers for your flatware as well as uh, some of your other utensils like knives, spatulas, things like that. You'll have two electrical outlets in the kitchen. One will be right over here. Then you'll have another one right underneath the cabinets here. So a couple different places in which you can plug in, you know, coffee makers, toasters, any other appliances. A little bit of storage up top. You can see that right there. Microwave right over here to the side with a hood underneath having both a light and a fan. I'll open up the Dometic fridge freezer combo here for you so you can take a look. Again, freezer up top, fridge right down below. You have a cutout there. This unit does run off both propane and electric and has automatic switchover. Taking one step further back, you have some big storage right here. This makes for an excellent pantry. The shelves are removable if you want to take them out so you can kind of customize the uh, size of the shelving in there. The bottom one is completely open for some larger items. And then right next to that, you get wardrobe space for the kiddos. So you have hang space right in here. Again, the shelf is removable if you want to take it out. You have enough space there for like a, a laundry basket, you know, if you want a small laundry basket in there. Just some great extra storage that a lot of times this style of floor plan is missing. When you take a step right back into the bathroom here, you'll see right here is your sink. You have a pretty decent sized bowl, so it's pretty easy to wash your hands there. Underneath a little bit of storage, you can see that. Of course, electrical outlet over here to the side. When I sit on the toilet, I have plenty of leg room, plenty of shoulder room, certainly no issues. As I mentioned, there is a door right here into the bathroom. No window, so you don't have to you know, get creeped out or, you know, have any privacy issues there. Obviously, you can lock the door. The great thing about it, though, is, you know, yourself, friends, family, the kids, whatever, can come right in, do their business, head right back out without bringing dirt all the way through the entire RV. This is one of the other things I really, really like, folks. Take a look at the size of this shower. So as far as height, I'm six foot. You can see that I have no issues here. If you're, you know, taller, if you're six two, you know, a little bit, or even taller than that, you probably will have to bend down. But I love how much room I have in here. I can easily, you know, turn around. Not to, not to say I could do jumping jacks, but I definitely have a lot of wiggle room in here, which is awesome. A lot more than you get in most travel trailers. And then you have the hand wand as well as four shelves back there too. So uh, all in all, I am pretty happy with that shower. Right here in the back are your double over double bunks. 300 pound weight capacity on here, teddy bear bunk series. You'll see you have the ladder so you can climb up onto the top bunk. And I know this is something that you know doesn't cost a lot from the manufacturer, but I love it when they do this because in my experience, it's usually the little ones that want to sleep on the top bunk, right? You know, your, your four or five year olds and they don't have quite the height to the ability to climb, you know, to jump up on the top bunk. So having this ladder allows them to get up there. As far as adults, it can support adults as well. Again, 300 pound weight capacity. I'll climb right in here. As I mentioned, folks, I'm six foot. And as you can see, I have no problems laying here, you know, even plenty of room for a pillow. No issues whatsoever. Electrical outlets, both on the bottom bunk as well as the top bunk. So if you need to plug in cell phones or electronics, you can do it there. Right over here, large U-shaped dinette. So the cool thing about this, you can easily sit four people here. You know, probably even a couple more. This is a little bit bigger than a lot of the U-shaped dinettes you get in travel trailers. Nice big table here, so plenty of room for everyone's plate as well. And if you drop that this down into a bed, Again, you can comfortably sleep two more adults right here, which is fantastic. In lieu of storage, they put instead big windows all the way around the slide. You can see they have huge windows behind the U-shaped dinette as well as the sofa. They have windows on the side as well. And I left this one open just to show you the windows do open on the side of the slide boxes. So if you need airflow, you can pop those open 
and uh, again, get some of that cross ventilation. Trifold sofa right here. This is the preferable type of sleeper sofa in an RV. It's comfortable to sit on. It also folds out into a bed where you know you can fairly comfortably sleep two adults, which is great. And it also is uh, a good shot right there to the TV if you have a swing arm mount. Um, you know you can obviously install that right in here. It's not a gigantic opening, so you know you can't put a huge TV in here, but at least it you know does give a dedicated spot for one. And then you'll see right here you have your uh, RCA cables which are hooked up to this unit right here as this is a DVD player. It also controls the speakers in here as well as the ones outside. Then you'll see you have an assortment of storage kind of all the way throughout. All these little doors open up. None of them are too terribly deep, but it is some decent storage nonetheless. When we take a step into the bedroom, you'll see the queen bed right here in the center. Lift this up for you and you can see the big storage area right there underneath. So if you have some larger items, that's an excellent place to store them. Both sides, you have a nightstand there. And then right up above is your mirrored wardrobe. You see the hanging rod going across. You have that on both sides. And then you'll also have a shelf connecting the two. You also get a uh, slider door here. So a little bit more privacy at night, you know, when the kiddos are sleeping. And then you have a backer mounted into the wall right here. So you know exactly where to mount the TV. The connections for that are right up above. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Launch 27 BHU. Right up front here is the power tongue jack. This makes it a lot easier to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle because all you have to do is flip the switch here to raise and lower the tongue. You also have an LED light right there up front if you need some extra visibility at night. In the rare event that your power tongue jack does fail, there is a manual override right here so you are not stuck. Behind that, you get two 30-pound propane tanks, so larger than the normal 20. And to access those, you just undo the uh, thumb screws right here, lift up the door, and you are down and in. Behind that, you see rails right there for your battery. And then coming up the front here is diamond plating, helping to protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. As we come around to the side, you will notice this one has solar prep. So if you want solar, all you have to do is buy the, uh, the portable panels, plug it in right there, and it will trickle charge your battery. Pass-through storage here is slam latch. It's also magnetic. You have a covered hinge, so you don't have a bunch of rust coming down the door there. When you take a look inside, you will see that it's a pretty decent size pass-through, and you have the same size door on the other side there. So if you have some larger items, you want to try to slide in there, chances are uh, they will fit. Making right back a little bit further, you have three foldable steps right here as well as the grab handle to help you up into the RV, just give you a little bit of extra control. Right up top there you see the power awning, just flip the rocker switch one way to roll it out, the other way to have it come right back in, and as you can see there is an LED light strip there as well, so that way you have light at night. If you plan on going somewhere you don't have city water, you're going to want to make sure you fill your fresh water tank, and right here is where you will do that electrical outlet outside to plug some stuff in. Now you see you have aluminum wheels on here. Great thing about aluminum is it doesn't rust so they will stay looking nice just like they are right now. A couple outside speakers here. Those are connected to the multimedia center inside. However, as I mentioned, that unit is Bluetooth capable so that way you can sit out here underneath the awning and be able to uh, somewhat control your music from that smart device. This is the secondary entrance. Again, three foldable steps and the grab handle. That takes you right into the bathroom. Making our way around to the back side here, a couple quick things. One you'll see right here is your propane quick connect. So if you plan on doing some grilling, you can pop it right in there. Remember you have those large two 30 pound bottles up there, so that way it can feed right off those. Square tubular bumpers with the end cap, you can pop those off, gives you a convenient spot to store your sewer hose. Also right over here you have your spare tire mounted to that bumper. So in the event that uh, you need it, which hopefully you don't, but if you do, it's one of the easiest places to get to it right here. You don't have to get down your hands and knees underneath the camper to be able to access that. Right here on the off door side, you have your 30 amp detachable power cord. You'll also see your cable and satellite inlet black tank flush right here to help you wash out any solids left in your black tank. If you do have city water, this is where your inlet is. Outside shower with both hot and cold water access right there. And if we take a look over on this side, you will see underneath the bunk, you have additional storage. Not a huge door, but it is a big storage area, so it does allow you to store a lot of items underneath there. If we drop down below here, I do want to show you, you have your termination. Notice you have two gray valves, one on either side, black tank valve right up top. You can also see the fully enclosed and insulated underbelly there as well. 
So uh, that way it'll help keep a lot of the road grime out, hopefully some of the critters in the off season, as well help protect from uh, your, some of your water lines and tanks and stuff from freezing up on you. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2019 StarCraft Launch 27 BHU. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.